This is what happens when you let a dog sleep in your room. Look at all his hair. Oh, by the way, that's, it's not his hair, that's from his bed. He likes to rip up his bed sometimes. All right, what is up, everybody? So, currently, today's Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, which doesn't really matter, but... Anyways, so, I have these next couple days off, and I'm going back home to SoCal. So, pretty much what that means is I, get these, I gotta start packing. Ugh. Which, actually, I already just got done packing. Uh, I had all day to pack, pretty much, the last seven hours to pack, and I just got done. Uh, honestly, I was just playing Xbox because I won't be playing this weekend. <laughs> so, got everything packed. I'm going to take a quick shower and get the rest of my little things and then go get some food. I'm just waiting for Danny to get off of work because we're both going to go down there. We are going to drive through the night. Hopefully, we don't leave too late. I want to leave the latest by like 7-ish. We get that 1 o'clock if we leave by 7-ish. So, yeah. Um, going to get ready and finish packing. So, yeah, I will be in SoCal later on tonight. Hi, Zach. Are you going to miss us? Probably. Probably? It's a hard no. That's a maybe, I guess. I'll take a maybe. Bye, Zach. I'll we see you in like... Uh huh? We lost the war and it's all your fault. <laughs> okay. See you in a couple days. Bye. Alright, so I'm all packed up and ready to go. I got my backpack full of all my electronical stuff. I think Danny's got everything. Yeah, you got everything? Yeah. You sure? I'm gonna drive. Since you kind of work today. Get your camera? Yeah. Get your extra battery? Yeah. Get your... What else do you need, normally take with you? I need my battery charger. Huh? I need my battery charger. Your portable charger? No, just my battery charger. Okay. Alright, well, let's get ready to go. Alright, so we are running somewhat a little late. Uh, so I totally forgot my glove. I could not find it. Sorry guys, you guys are going to see my crotch. But I could not find my glove for the life of me. I was looking for it and... It was, it was pretty much in the back of my car, and that was like the last place I was gonna look. So we are headed off right now. We did, I did order some AJ, so we actually got to go get it right now because it's probably still waiting for us, and they close in the next 20 minutes. So yeah, see you guys there. All right, so find that AJ's. Make sure you highlight AJ's. We're like 10, we're like 20 minutes late to get food. I'll be right back. I'm just saying, there's a, I, I saw I saw a bay there working a, a later shift. I'm training. Alright, so recording? I didn't get her name. She wasn't helping me out though. I'm gonna tell you, you should tell you love her. Uh, I'll tell you later. I think you're gonna be tough. Alright, so we are headed back home. We're driving. One, five games we're also watching the Dodger well, game. Right and here. for those of you that don't know we Vince Scully, let me lower this down. But Vince now. Scully is the man. He just, he just, what's. He just taught us that the dollar bill has a bunch of like stuff that are 13. Uh, from what I heard, it was like 13 steps on the pyramid on the dollar bill. There's 13 arrows. What else was it? 13 stars. 13 stripes. 13 stars. of declaration of independence. 13, yeah, and just all this other stuff. I don't know, Vince Scully, by the way, he's 88 years old. 88 years old, and he's been broadcasting for the Dodgers for 67 years? Yeah, he is pretty much, he's one of the greatest, greatest, greatest sports announcers ever, ever, and that's why the Dodgers named the outside of Dodger Stadium for uh, off of him. So that's actually pretty cool, and I'm going to try to get a picture when we go to the game tomorrow. But we still have a, quite a bit to go, um, another like four and a half hours. No, we haven't been driving for an hour yet, like five hours or so, so we'll be home soon. 
All right, so a quick update on our drive. We are coming up to Bakersfield. We will be there in like another like 10 minutes. I keep saying 10 minutes, but it's not here yet. So we are on cruise control going about 70, 75 miles an hour. Just chilling. Danny, how you doing? Good. I'm doing okay. It's not too bad. I'm used to this drive, but it's been a while actually. When was the last time I drove back home? When was the last time you drove back home? You actually came back home recently, right? Yeah. I think the last time I was here was New Year's. You know, I can just look back at my vlog and find out. So yeah, so we'll be home in another like two and a half hours or so. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, so we are currently going up the grapevine and we're going at an okay speed, not too bad. But hey, Danny, what do they call it the grapevine? I think there's actual grapevines somewhere, and then I know like the first exit when you, at least from when we came in, it says grapevine. So I know, I don't know. All right, so we are almost out of the grapevine, but look at the other side, by the way. There's like a ton of cars. It's like a parking lot. It's pretty much just stopped. I mean, they're moving, but it just feels like they just stopped. Look at this. This wall is kind of in the way, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of cars there uh, and trucks and everything. That's tough. Really tough. Alright, so every single time I come back home, there's this huge, I guess you can call it a bridge, and you're supposed to hold your breath, so ready, set, go. That bridge isn't too long, but there's another one that's maybe a little bit longer that I almost passed out in one day. Alright, so coming in close, that sign said San Bernardino, but if you look over to your right, that is Fontana. Fontana's actually grown pretty, pretty big over the last like however many years. So yeah, it's super dark, you can't really see. And I think we just passed the sign that said we're in Fontana. Yeah, we did. Oh wait, no, it's coming up. I, I do not remember. It's been a while since I've driven through here. Uh, no, that was an A. Oh, there it is. Montana. X3 exits. Come on, out of focus. You can do this, I believe in you. You failed. Alright, well, whatever. We are in Montana, so I'll be home in the next, like, five or ten minutes. And just like that, home sweet home. It's too dark, you can't really see it, but this is home. Yeah. I'm super tired right now. It is pretty late. It's like 1 3rd, 1 45. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm pretty tired. Okay, I'm very tired. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I'm currently sleeping in my sister's old room. Uh, Danny's sleeping in my room. So. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm super tired. Um, these next couple of days are gonna be super long and a lot of fun, that's for sure. Uh, but that's gonna be it though for my video for today. Super tired. It feels good to be back, you know, back home, hanging out with my mom. Super awesome. I love my mom. She's awesome. And then I'm gonna see my dad tomorrow for a bit. I guess I don't know what time he gets off work, but I'll see him tomorrow though. Uh, but I'm gonna go to bed. I'm super tired. I'm gonna edit this video really quick. I got my laptop with me right there. Oh, look at Rex. I'm gonna miss that dog for a couple days. But I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys all tomorrow. And you guys have a good one.